Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana has, as it looks like, broken out of this um, descending channel. However, um, because we only have really two touch points up there, I can even move the trend line. I think it would still be within the channel. I'm not too happy about that channel anyway. Um, however, what is so important with Solana is not really that channel, it is more here in the 105 US dollar level, you can see how that provided resistance here throughout the last few days. You know, even when we had a move up all the way to 105, it didn't really break that level. Um, and also here, this was the swing high of this move of this wave on the 2nd of March. We had resistance here various times. We had resistance here on the 15th of February. So that, that is quite an interesting and important level. Now that Solana managed to get above the $100 level again, which is important, this is the level to the upside that we're looking at, okay? Very, very important. So Solana is within this channel currently forming, in my opinion, something like a, like a triangle. We need, just need to be aware of it, because again, here we are getting into an apex of some sort, of a pattern, of a triangle, and again, this is good, because it can provide an opportunity. Yeah, you normally see movement. The thing is, we still see, even though we saw a little bit of a move up, but we still overall see decreasing volume on the volume indicator here on the daily. Yes, there was a bit of a, a move up yesterday after those lows were bought up again. Yeah, oftentimes those wicks then get filled as well. The, maybe the sellers weren't ready yet. We just need to be aware of it. Um, but yeah, we still are in such a triangle. And the reason I say that is because we have that decreasing volume. If you see that declining volume, if you see the declining volatility, okay, with the exception of yesterday, but on the daily, you know, you see where the daily candle closed. Really, if you <clears throat> didn't have that wick here, you could say nothing happened um, because we were back to square one and we are moving here sideways around the $100 mark, slightly above it. And I think here in the next couple of days, we could see a decision here out of that triangle. The thing is we need to the upside, we certainly need to break above that 105 US dollar level. You know, to the downside, we've got that $100 US dollar level. That is the 61.8% FIP level, very similar to Cardano. Cardano is slightly below it. Solana is slightly above it. Very, very relevant level. So let's take a look if we see any more detail on the four hour chart. Um, it is similar to um, Cardano, just make a, made a Cardano video. Cardano is also in a, in a some sort of a triangle at the moment. And we had this move down, but on the daily, you don't really see it. It is just a wick on the daily. So I think we can sort of nearly disregard it because it did not even care about that resistance. It was just a bit of maybe market manipulation where we had a bit of a, a fake out to the downside, right? But here on the four hour, you can see as well that we have four touch points to the upside here. And we have one, two, three touch points to the downside. So a valid triangle. And we need to be aware that this is typically a trend continuation pattern. We are in a downtrend, so we could argue that with a higher probability, it would break to the downside. Is this important? Not really, because as a trader, you should always wait for the breakout anyway. It doesn't really matter if you have a bullish or a bearish pattern, um, especially a triangle is sometimes difficult. Generally, um, a symmetrical triangle is fairly neutral. In a downtrend, yes, it is sort of regarded as a trend continuation pattern. Therefore, we can prepare for a potential move down. But as I said, as soon as we go above $105, I think we have some chance of some more upside. Not too much in the first instance because we've got the 200 day moving average running here. Let me just check. Is that the 200? Uh, no, this is the one year moving average. Let me just change that to the 200 day. I had the one year for Bitcoin. Okay, so this is quite far away. Not saying that the one year moving average wouldn't make, um, wouldn't provide resistance here as well. So that is just above it. But $105 I see as fairly relevant for, um, for Solana here to break to the upside and to the downside, the $100 level. So you can see we are really in this sort of a range. In this case, um, the triangle actually and the breakout, <clears throat> a breakout of that triangle should take us either above or below that level. So if we take here the height of that triangle, you can get an idea of the potential price move that will follow just as a as an estimate. Yeah, if we say that would happen today, that breakout, it could push us down to 90 US dollars. If we break to the downside and to the upside, it could take us that would be the 
technical target of that triangle, okay, to the next swing high here, that would make sense as well. And that would be 115, $116. And as you know, a very, very important resistance level for Solana is the 122 US dollar level that is up here, that is that wave four swing high. And this could not hold last time, yeah? But this is a very important resistance level as well. So I think if we manage to really break out of this um, triangle, there is a good chance the price could move up to 122 in the first instance. And the next major support to the downside, in my opinion, is that $75 level, yeah? I'm not talking about the small levels of um, support down there, but this would be the major one which is the previous low in this whole correction. So these are really the levels I'm looking at here at the moment. And bear in mind, there is here an opportunity with that triangle. And this is really my view here on Solana at the moment. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe. And if you really like the content, check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.